welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming this look inspired by Ariana Grande's No Tears Left to Cry video, which is also inspired the hair look for today. So sorry I've been gone for so long, I'm not going to get into it too much because I do it every single video I ever make. Um, I've just finished university, so as you can imagine, fourth year is a very stressful time and I've not had the spare time to be sitting doing these videos unfortunately but I am back now and I've got a new camera so I hope that you can realise the quality change and I'm sorry if I keep looking up there I'm not used to having a monitor there so it's just weird seeing myself filming but um yeah without further ado if you would like to see this look inspired by Ariana Grande's no tears left to cry video then just keep watching so for today's video back i got asked to recreate ariana grande's makeup from her no tears left to cry video um so the video the makeup that i'm going to try and some of this kind of makeup where she's got like the glitter eyeliner and the smoky eyes and i have went all ariana grande with my hair as well my hair's probably a lot different than what you've seen it in my other videos because it's blonde now. So let's just get into it. With my face makeup nothing's really changed. I still use my Fenty foundation and I still use um, shape tape and stuff like that so nothing's changed at all there. Um, this foundation is just my holy grail right now. I use it every single time I go out um, and every single time I have to put makeup on really so I'd really recommend it for people with oily skin. Um, definitely my makeup always comes off around this area here and on my nose and this definitely helps to keep it on so I would really suggest looking into it. Maybe just go and get a sample if you can if you've got oily skin and you want to try it out. The other I'm going to go in with is the Maybelline Age Rewind. I've used this before loads of times on my channel. This is the neutralizer one. The shade light is just a bit too like a little bit too dark for me honestly and this one's a bit more yellow so that's why i like that just using this in all of the usual highlighting places i've not filmed a video in so long but my routine is literally the exact same so i didn't see a point in doing like an updated everyday makeup or anything because recently i've been wearing no makeup i could do like a skincare video or something like that if you guys wanted to see that or like how i get my skin to look nice like going out the door trying to get out quick sort of thing if anyone would be interested in that. Something new that I've been using is the Iconic London Highlighter Drops. I've got the shade Shine and the shade Original. Um, I got Original but it's got like a more of a bronzy like I don't know how to explain it like it looks shiny but if I look to the front it looks like I've got like a bronze streak on my chin on my chin <laughs> on my cheeks so that's why I got the shade Shine Get yeah, in this shade and this is the one that I'm going to use today just so that I get a brighter highlight because in the video Ariana's highlight is very strong. So I'm going to just put a few dots of this on first, just like that. And then I'm going to go back in with the same beauty sponge and blend that out. And sometimes these are quite hard to blend so I'll just go in with my finger and blend it out. And then I'm going to go and do the same on the other side but this side I'm just going to use my finger. So I'm just going to go in and set my face quickly before I put on highlight there um, just because I don't want it to cling too much to the highlighter. I'm going to take just a tiny bit of powder just like whatever's left in my little lid and I'm still using the RCMA No Colour Powder and just taking that on a brush and popping it underneath my eyes and just sort of setting the centre of my face. I'm going to go in with is the Art Artist Couture, the Artist Couture Highlighter. And this is the Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Coco Bling. And I'm coming right down onto my cheeks here because when I put bronzer and blusher on later it'll sort of peek through that. Next I'm going to go onto my eyebrows. I know this is jumping about a little bit but this is just what I've been doing my makeup like recently. I'll do my face and my highlighter and then I'll do my brows and then I'll go on to do bronzer and everything. It's a bit weird I think but do you like my blonde hair guys? This isn't as light as my hair is just now. These are extensions that I've just got that I'm going to dye my hair to match. I'm just using, sorry, I'm using the um, NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. Just like a dark brown. Now that I've got blonde hair, I still do my eyebrows just as dark because as you can see, my actual eyebrow hairs are quite dark. And I don't think I do them any differently than I have before. This is obviously like an inspired look by Ariana, so I'm not doing her exact... Like, I'm not copying her eyebrow shape, I'm not copying her 
I don't know, eyebrow shape. So I'm just going to do my own eyebrows, just how I normally do them. See, I've got, now I've got a little cam, um, a little monitor on the top of my camera. And I thought it's really good for being able to see if I'm in focus and everything now because I used to have to use like a TV separate from my camera but because I don't have my glasses on I'm like is it in focus? Anyway so the palette I'm going to be using today is the Morphe I think it's, this is the 3502 palette this is what it looks like so I'm going to just use some of the more neutral browns and like the shimmers because the look that she's got on she's got like a sort of halo eye with dark on the outside and like um, the focus is really on the wing and the glitter on the inside and the glitter underneath the wing like whatever you've got at home um, and just some like darker browns that we're going to just be putting on the outer corner first I'm going to be taking this tart brush that I got as part of a set at Christmas but it's just quite like a really big fluffy brush so whatever sort of brush that you've got like that and I'm going to take this shade Universal to start with which is this very top colour here just like any any neutral transition shade you've got and just slap that all over and then what I'm gonna do is take my Sigma E40 and use the colour tan which is this one here and mix it with this one which is orb so I'm mixing orb and tan together and we're going to just put that more precisely sort of in the crease and outer corner but still just sort of blending it everywhere and up a little bit. These are the sort of colours that we're going to use as a base to blend it into. I think what I'm going to do is go in with um, the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. This is just because it's got some more neutral browns in it. Um, and I'm going to take the shade Brownie Points which is just this colour here whatever darker neutral brown you have just use that honestly you don't have to have the same eyeshadows as me and we're going to focus that on the outer corner a little bit because i quite like my eyeshadow to be a little bit winged out and then i'm going to do the same and take that on the inner corner and then next what i'm going to do is take my zoeva 224 is this brush here, it's just like a tiny little brush which, oh it's a luxe defined crease brush um, which is again dirty and I'm going to take this shade Teddy Bear and again mix it with that brownie points colour just so it's not as dark and I'm going to put that in the exact same place that we're just building up that darker colour so again just starting on that lash line back and forward and then building up into the crease if you want more of a rounded eye shape don't take it too far out here, just keep it in this socket line. But again, I quite like mine to be winged out. So I'm going to go and do this eye and get it to this stage and then I'll be back to show you the rest. So that is both eyes done and I know it just now looks a little bit mental. But the next steps are going to clean it up a little bit. So what we're going to do is take this tiny tiny little brush I think this is a re real re techniques real techniques and um, it's actually rubbed off accent brush I think it's called and I'm gonna take the concealer that I used earlier we're just gonna clean up this middle bit to make the halo sort of pop a little bit more you don't have to do this if you don't want to make it too extreme but I'm gonna try out Um, I watched Nicole Guerrero's recent video and she said that she has hooded eyes so what she does is puts the concealer on the bottom of her eye there and then looks up and then wherever that prints that's your guide for how high you need to go so we're going to try that out today take it on the same brush sideways like this and just sort of draw like little lines out the way and this just helps to blend out the concealer and not make it such a stark line. And then after I've done that, I'm going to go back in with the brush that I used that teddy bear shade on, the darker shade. I'm not going to pick up any extra product. Am I going to do that? Yeah. And then I'm just going to sort of flick over those edges. And you can see that I sort of softly blended that out. I'm going to take my um, Stila Magnificent Metals in the shade Kitten Karma. Here, I'm sure she has sort of like some on the inside, but I'm gonna keep it as like a halo eye because I like this shape. 
and I'm going to just paint that down the middle and I'm going to do one eye at a time and instead of blending it right out to those edges I'm going to use a brush this is from Primark and it was like two pound I'm sure and I've showed it before in a video I think it's got the flat brush on one side and the little pointy brush on the other so I'm going to use the flat side and I'm just going to sort of push that around Again, I'm just sort of doing like the little lines out the way as well to sort of blend it out. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit more of that. You can totally build this product up to be as bright as you want it to be. And I'm going to keep this second layer sort of focused towards the middle. And just use a little patting motions and to blend that out. So after that, what I'm going to do is again go back in with that brush I had the teddy bear on. And I'm going to go over this very top line here. And just sort of blend that out so it's not such a stark line. That is how the eyes are looking so far with our little halo and then I'm going to do the sort of main event which is the wing and the glitter ow and I'm literally still on the tattoo liner hype honestly I don't think I'll ever use another eyeliner it's so easy and it never comes off so I just don't see the point in buying a new one so the way I like to do my eyeliner is I like to start from the outer corner and just follow my lash line so you're following the bottom of your lash line and the, just the way it goes straight up so I like to do a little bit of a black line and if you make it mess up your eyeliner don't worry about it because you can just fix it. Eyeliner is like the main event of this look so that's what I'm going to focus on. And just draw a line out like that and then I'm literally going to just connect that to my lash line. Mine is totally running out. And then on the inner corner, I'll just go like a really thin line across my lash line. And then literally what I'll do after I've mapped that out is just fill it in with the exact same eyeliner. And that is the wing on that eye done. I'm just going to go and do the same on the other side and I'll be back to do the glitter. So that is the wings finished on both sides. And what I'm going to do before I do my glitter, I'm going to just do my under eyes. I'm going to just take that same Sigma E4 and the Are You Kitten Me shade. Ariana never normally has anything on her bottom lash line so I'm just going to take some of that Are You Kidding Me colour and just run that really really sloppily underneath just to give a little bit of definition. So as you can see in this picture she doesn't have anything on her lower lash line except a little bit of glitter so that is what we are going to do as well. And I'm going to take the exact same brush as we used before and the exact same glitter just to sort of tie it in. You don't have to use one of these Stila ones either, you can use whatever glitter you've got at home. These are just so easy because you don't really need a glue or anything, they're already sticky and they just stay themselves. So I'm going to take the other end of this brush, the little pointy side, whatever sort of little pointy brush you have is fine. And what I'm going to do is just go right underneath that wing in a little straight line. Oh, I'm not feeling confident. Mm. Change mind, change my mind. I'm going to use a little angled brush instead. I think I'm going to be able to just stamp it on. Yeah, like that. That's exactly what I wanted. So I think for lashes, I'm just gonna do mascara. Because I've got hooded eyes, I find that sometimes if I put lashes on, on top of glitter, it'll just cover it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go off camera and do mascara on my top eyelashes only. And then I'm just gonna chuck some bronzer on, just hula bronzer, and then I'll be back to show you the lips and the final look. Like a really nudie lip on. As you can see, it's just sort of like a brownie nude. So that is what we are going, oh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to use Kat Von D um, Bow and Arrow, but a nice dupe for that is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. As you can see they're quite similar, just the top one's a little bit more pinky. And the lip liner I'm going to use is Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. If you are thinking of getting this lip liner, I would really recommend it. They're so easy to work with and they're actually really, really good. If you want to see more of like an in-depth tutorial sort of thing on how I overline my lips and how I like to line them and everything, that is in my previous video, which I'll link in the description box. So I'm just gonna like, just skip through this bit because I've showed it five million times. So I'm gonna just line my lips like that and then just apply the lipstick straight over the top. I'm gonna go over the top of that with this YSL lipstick in the shade number 10. Just whatever like pinky nudie colour you've got and just dab that over it just to lighten it up a little bit. I think I prefer that colour a little bit more. So once you've done that, that is the look finished. So it's quite simple on the eyes as you can see, nothing on the lower lash line, just glitter and 
the glitter underneath the wing is selling it to me. So that's the finished look. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It should be just underneath this video. And please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I know I've been gone for ages, but I am back now. And I'm going to be making lots more videos. I'd love if you could leave me some requests in the comments um, of what you want me to see. Do. I'm really up for doing some more chatty videos or um or I don't know if anyone would be interested in seeing like sort of more vloggy style videos because that's the videos that I really like to watch on YouTube. I don't see why I shouldn't be making them as well. Um so yeah let me know if you would be interested in watching that or if that would just be really boring. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.